Kalahari, by definition, has no surface water. That is the theoretical definition of a desert. If you look around, Kalahari doesn't look like a desert. It has bushes and trees. But because it has no surface water, it's considered a desert. The Bushmen over the past hundreds of years have developed a tremendous survival way of, of finding water and storing it. They would take out the tubas in the ground, they would shave uh, small shavings from the tuba and, and squeeze and they would drop water in an ostrich eggshell and store it. Under the Kalahari lies the greatest underground lake on the planet. It's called the Dragon's Breath. These people have now a chance and a tremendous possibility with our water systems to have pure water without filtration, without purification, straight from underground. 60 meters, 50 meters, 40 meters, and, and straight into their buckets or in their faucets so they can drink pure, clean water. So what we do now is we go to villages that have no water or have hand pumps or diesel pumps that are broken. We replace those with our solar-powered water systems in which we have a submersible pump, a cable, and a solar power panel and that draws power from the sun and then we give them fresh water. The solar pumps are called Grund for us, they're German-made, and uh, they're extremely reliable. Uh, they have a 10-year warranty. They pump through mud and sand and everything. I installed a, a water system 11 years ago in a village that is still pumping water. Strong, tough, reliable utensils. Uh, we will, but... Oh, yeah. Come, come, come. Good job. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. What is water? Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. You were thirsty. Good job. 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 Well, it's hard to explain, but uh, it, it transforms their life. You, you walk to a village that two months ago didn't have water. They were walking 20 miles in the bush, three, four young people with small cans or small canisters of water to pick up from a different village, so a little water from a hand pump and walk back to their village. Suddenly they have a system that pumps 800 liters an hour into a tank of five tons. They have excess water that they can wash with which they never did before. They cook. Water here is truly giving them new life because these people look better. Uh, they're happier. They live longer because they have a better chance because of this water. There are 186 villages between Botswana and Namibia of the Sand Tribe. And my dream would be to have every village of the sand with a solar power water system. This leaves us with around 110, 112 sand villages between Botswana and Namibia that we would like to install water systems to.